Hey folks, this is Harijit. Welcome back to Graphixia. In today's video, we are gonna see in detail how we can trace any object or any shape from the image that we have to our canvas. So without any further ado, let's move into the screen. As you can see, I have opened the Illustrator app and created a new file with the dimensions 1018 to 1080 for this video. Now, the first step is to import the image which has the object or the image that we want. So, first let's import it into the canvas. The best way to import it to the canvas is by dragging it to the canvas from the folder where it actually is. Once it's imported, we'll resize it to a bigger shape so it'll be easy to work with. Now with the minion image in front of us, what we're gonna do is we'll trace out the minion from the image that has a white background. If I choose a background with white, then you wouldn't be able to see what actually is happening. So that's the reason why I have chosen a color that is different and contrast to white. Now let's start to trace out the image. So with the image layer selected, go to objects, in the image trace, select, make and expand. So before we do the steps, let's make something clear. Let's distinguish between what this make and make and expand is. First we'll try with make. We'll hit the make option and we'll just zoom in to see that the image has been traced by the illustrator very well can see it everywhere it is being traced perfectly with the direct selection tool you can see that the complete tracing is as a single unit so this is what make actually does now we'll hit ctrl z to go back to the original image and i will go to objects image trace and hit make and expand now if we select the direct selection tool you can see a number of vector points and anchor points in this traced image so this is what actually expand like sorry make and expand does it creates a number of vector points around the traced image so that we can alter it like we want like this but this is not possible with just the make option now we'll resize the image and continue what we were doing we'll hit the ctrl z and start with the original image now with the image layer selected and with the selection tool, we'll go to the objects, image trace and make and expand. Now as I have said earlier, the illustrator has traced the image perfectly very well. Now what we have to do is with the selection tool selected, we'll go to the layers and expand this layer to see what actually this has. See there is a whole lot of vectors that has been created by this make and expand option. So the next step is we'll go to objects again and ungroup it. So now check the layers and all these vectors were in a group early. I'll show you one more time. If you ungroup this, you can see it's in a group. So what we're going to do is we'll go to objects and ungroup it so that they are no longer in a group and they are editable individually. Now zoom into the layers panel and you can see a whole lot of layers with just white and blue patches. We need to get rid of all these patches and we just require that patches which has only white, sorry, that has only blue and black. So we'll select those layers which have white and blue in it. We'll select one by one. Once you feel like all the unnecessary layers are selected, hit the delete button and see the magic. Now all you have is the image of the minion. Now zoom out with the selection tool, select all the remaining layers, go to objects and hit group. Now the rest of the minion is grouped as a single image. Now try moving it out of the canvas, it just remains as a minion but it is movable. Zoom out for a better view with the direct selection tool you can move it anywhere even out of the canvas. And this is how you trace out any object or any shape from the image that we have to our canvas. I hope this video has helped. Let me know through the comment section and for more free videos and free tutorials 
feel free to subscribe graphics here and stay tuned see you in the next video Thank mm -hmm. you.